Uh, so in our lesson number six, we are dealing with chapter number four, digital communication. So now we have completed the presentation and we also completed questions based on textbook content. I really do hope you have uh, uploaded your answers for this uh, activity over here. And now we move on to a worksheet. Okay, so let's download the worksheet from here. Uh, open a new window. And uh, let's click on download. Okay, so let's open this document. And uh, as we have done previously, this worksheet is based on past paper questions. Okay, and these are past paper questions based on chapter number four. And they are from 2014 all the way to 2018. Okay, so. Uh, they enable anything as well okay so starting off with the first question on the first page it goes on as John has photographs of gardens that he has designed stored on his digital camera he would like to use these photographs in his leaflet he uses an SD card to transfer the photographs from his camera to his PC to his personal computer describe two other methods of transferring photographs from a digital camera to a PC so Already in the question, he is using something which we call an SD card. An SD card is a memory card. It comes under the category of flash memory. So what he does is he removes the SD card from his camera, plugs it into his PC, and then transfers the photographs. So that method is already mentioned in the question. Uh, we can talk about, for example, Bluetooth. We can say using Bluetooth, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth. John would have to pair his uh, digital camera and his PC together. Okay, so when it comes to Bluetooth, we have to make sure we use the word pair, not the word connect. Okay, so both devices have to be paired with each other and then they can start photo transferring can take place. So then uh, something else, uh, also just one quick reminder here, it goes as describe. So when they say describe, we have to give the entire step. You can't just say using Bluetooth. Okay, you have to say how is Bluetooth going to work. Okay, so another thing that he can use is uh, he can use, for example, a data cable. Okay, using a data cable, or we call it a USB cable. Using a data cable, John could connect one end of the cable to the digital camera and the other end to the PC. Okay, so this is what happens if you're using a data cable. Also, there are methods like using Wi-Fi. Certain cameras have built-in Wi-Fi in them. So what happens is the uh, digital camera and the PC have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi router. Okay, and then transferring of photos can take place. Okay, so that's another method that can be used. Uh, moving on to the next question. DSP International Bank has branches in in many countries this the bank has a computer network that links all of its branches via the internet name this type of network so we are talking about a network that is in many countries so the type of network that exists in many countries is what we call a wide area network okay so we learned of four different types of network we learned first was local area network there is a network that is inside one building or one house then we learned of wide area network a network which expands across many countries or cities then we did learn about personal area network and it's work around one person and then we also learned about tethering or hotspot uh, moving on to the next question improved security is one advantage of using a wired rather than a wireless connection to access a network okay so identify three other advantages of using a wired rather than a wireless connection to access the network okay so already one advantage has been mentioned it's about security that wired connections are much more secure than wireless connect, uh, connections they have asked us to identify so since they have used the word identify you can just simply mention your points you didn't have to explain or describe them so three other advantages of using wired connection you can say the connection would be much more stable than a wireless connection okay so wired connections have a much higher level of stability 
than wireless connections do. You can say wired connections are not affected by other electromagnetic signals uh, which would cause interferences okay so wired connections are not I mean wired connections do not have many interferences uh, like wireless connections will be having and then you can also say uh, in wired connections wired connections uh, the connection will not be affected by physical obstacles okay so these are three advantages I have mentioned you can also go on to say wired connections have a much higher bandwidth than wireless connections we did learn that wired connections have a higher number of frequencies that is why their bandwidth is much higher than wireless uh, you can also go on to say that uh, interferences obstacles we spoke about stability we spoke about yeah okay so you can also talk about the fact that wired connections have a much higher bandwidth okay then moving on to the next question it says some wireless devices use Bluetooth instead of Wi-Fi give two disadvantages of using Bluetooth rather than Wi-Fi to connect to connect devices okay so they're asking you for two disadvantages of using Bluetooth over Wi-Fi so it just the word goes as give so you can just simply list the points you can go on to say Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth has a shorter signal range than Wi-Fi okay we do know that Wi-Fi signals can travel much longer than Bluetooth signals okay so that's one disadvantage Bluetooth has a short signal range uh, also you can talk about the bandwidth Bluetooth has a lower bandwidth than Wi-Fi signals okay so this is the second advantage you can also talk about security okay Bluetooth is less secure than Wi-Fi okay uh, the next one goes on to say the college uses a dial-up connection to access the internet identify two other connections that could be used okay so dial-up connection is a very very slow internet connection okay it was used many many years ago and it is an extremely slow internet connection the bandwidth was measured in kilobytes per second it is no longer being used in today's world so identify two other types of connections that could be used in today's world we use 3g that is one 3g connection and uh, you can also talk about for example Wi-Fi okay you can also talk about a broadband connection okay dial-up came on the narrow band which means the, the bandwidth was very small in today's world we are dealing with something called broadband so 3g Wi-Fi <clears throat> you can talk about satellite uh, you can go on to talk about fiber optics okay these are all possible answers <coughs> he uses a digital camera with wireless capability to take photographs of the birds he wants to print the photographs identify two types of wireless connection he could use to send the images from his camera to a wireless printer okay so they're asking us to just identify just list two types of wireless connections he could use to send the images from his camera to a wireless printer so the best option first would be Wi-Fi and then his second best option would be Bluetooth okay you can also uh, mention infrared but infrared is extremely slow and devices have to be very close to each other okay infrared is correct but it's not a very good option uh, moving on to our on to page number three the first question identify one disadvantage of using a wired rather than a wireless we are asking us to identify a problem with using wired connections you can say wired connections uh, can cause tripping hazards okay they have asked us for one so wired connections can cause tripping hazards wired connections can be extremely messy you can also say wired connections can be difficult to set up okay because you have got to hit the cables on the walls put them into casing you know so setup can be difficult okay you can talk about maintenance wired connections maintenance is difficult okay then you can also go on to say wired connections do not have flexibility okay you can't move around and use it you have to stay in one place and use it okay so you have various answers that you can write 
uh, give two advantages of disadvantages of using a wireless rather than a wired connection to connect a laptop to the network. Okay, two disadvantages of using a wireless. So uh, you can say wireless uh, signals are easily affected by physical obstacles. Okay, and then you can also go on to say uh, wireless signals do not are not very are not very secure okay, in terms of security wireless signals are not the best you can also go on to say wireless signals are affected by other electromagnetic signals or have high level of interference so these are possible answers that you can write the third question on page number three pat and john have created a home network to connect their pcs and the printer uh, give three benefits to Pat and John of using their home network. So they are asking of benefits to Pat and John of having a network at home. So we can first of all go on to say this: that they can share their printer. Okay. So we can go on to say the printer can be shared between each other in the network. That is something which is an advantage. It's a benefit. You can share one printer between two devices. Then you can go on to say this. Pat and John can access each other's device from their own device. Okay, so for example, Pat can access John's computer from her own computer. Okay, so this is another benefit. Uh, then we actually call this roaming profiles. Roaming profile. Uh, then also we can go on to say that um, and John can work together on the same file which is known as collaborative working okay since they are both connected to each other since their devices are connected to each other and they are in the same network they can both work together on the same file which is known as collaborative working uh, then you can go on to moving on to page number four the first question PT agency provides private tutors for students. There is a network of computers within the administration office. The network is made up of a number of workstations connected to a server. One benefit to staff using the network is that data security is managed for them. Give three other benefits to staff of using the network. So we can put the same kind of answers again. You can go on to say the first one, peripheral devices such as a printer, can be shared between users in the network or between users or even devices okay almost the same thing so you can share peripheral devices uh, next you can say we are talking about uh, private tutors for students so we can also talk about uh, students and tutors can work collaboratively okay so students and tutors can work on the same file at the same time which is known as collaborative working uh, then you can also talk about since all of them are being connected to one server to one powerful computer we can go on to say all files of the network can be stored in one central location okay so what happens is all who are connected to the network will be saving their files to this server computer. So all the data is being stored in one central location, okay, which is another benefit of using a network. Uh, you can go on to the next question. It says PT agency uses a broadband connection to access the internet. Name two other types of connections that uh, could be used. So broadband connection basically means uh, internet connection with a very high bandwidth. Okay, so we have many options when it comes to broadband connection, internet connections with high speeds. So um, we can talk about, for example, 3G, 3G or 4G. Let's put 4G, it's the latest one. We can talk about 4G, <clears throat> then we can also talk about Wi Fi. We can talk about even uh, fiber optic connection. You can also talk about something which is known as ADSL, which is quite fast as well. Uh, it stands for asymmetric digital subscriber line. They have just asked for two, so these first two are quite fine. 
uh, once you have finished, uh, this is the end of the worksheet. Please make sure you save your work. You go back into your classroom, okay, and uh, you open the assignment. And please make sure you upload the file over here, okay? I will create, upload the file, and do not forget to click the turn in button. And once you're done with this worksheet, please do attempt this quiz, okay, the quiz over here. You're required to do it on your own, so please do open it up. Uh, try and do this quiz as much as possible on your own. Do it on your own, okay? Try to write your best answers and then upload it back into this quiz area over here, and then I'll be checking it, and we'll be giving you marks and any feedback that will be required. Thank you.